obviously a couple you know, tough results, tough stretch for the team. I just wonder, you know, in practice this week, especially after a, a loss to Memphis at home, what's the team morale been like and what's the response been like from the guys? I think it's still very high. I think we realize it's still very early in the season. And I've said it before, like one game can completely turn the tide of our season. So I think all it takes is one result and one win. So I think we could definitely get it this weekend at Phoenix. I don't see why not. Yes, yeah, and I was just going to ask, what's the feeling going into Phoenix? Obviously, they're, 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 they're a team that's been very, very good uh, historically in this league. And, and do you feel like you can go there and get a result? For sure. I think we've seen this year more than any that any team can go on the road and get, and get some wins. So I don't see why we can't do that. I think we have a great group of guys. So, yeah, we're going to go on the road with the intention of winning. Awesome. And uh, with the absence of Niall uh, in the defense, he stepped into the captain's role um, last Saturday. How'd that feel to sort of finally, you've been a guy that's been around the team for so many years. Right. How's that feel to get that role? Yeah, it was crazy. I mean, coming through the open tryouts, you know, you never know what's going to happen. But, you know, kind of seeing it come to, to fruition was kind of cool. Uh, you know, Niall was definitely a big loss that game. But, you know, I was, I was honored to wear the captain's armband. It was an amazing feeling. Yeah, absolutely. And um, you talk about the, the loss of Niall and sort of the defensive miscues in that game. Um, the shortcomings in that game defensively. What do you feel like the issues were that you have to maybe fix going into Phoenix on the defensive end of the ball? I just say owning our box a bit more. I feel like I feel like they're scoring a lot of goals inside of our, our six and eighteen yard box. So just being very demanding of ourselves inside the box, I think, will prevent a lot of goals. Yeah, and, and final question for me here. Obviously, you, as I mentioned, you were you were a guy that's been around the team for a couple of years, so you've been with with this program through through the ups and downs. Mm -hmm. um, how does you know a stretch like this compare to previous years, and how do you really plan on getting through it? Um, like I said, I think like this year more than ever, we have a great group of guys, you know, over the past few years, like, I feel like when we get in a stretch like this, we would just put our heads down, but no, we're out here, we're working every day to, to try and get a result. And I think, you know, I think the positives are definitely coming for sure.